Hey everybody, Phantom Shadow here. Welcome back to more Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Last time we got the second Crystal Star, and our next stop is Glitzville. Well, I went to Rumble Bump Volcano, and I got myself a piece of the Marvelous Compass. It was an incredible quest. There was danger and all sorts of adventuring. It's pretty nuts, though, bro. Want to hear what happened? It's a pretty long story. Sounds good to me. Which part do you want to hear? Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here it goes. As soon as my ship docked on the Pudding Continent, I set out for the volcano. To reach my destination, I spent several days for fording through the dense jungle. Scary beasts were all over. More than once I thought I was done for, a bro. I may have screamed a bit to scare him off, you know. But as fate would have had it, a blooper named Bluey heard me shrieking and found me in this one town. Bluey was on a journey of his own, but he joined me after hearing my tale. Now, Bluey's a madman. Back in his hometown, they called him White Torpedo. Yeah, he's a tough guy. Anyway, he helped me fi fight to Rumble Bump Volcano. This place was all about bubbling lava pools and heat that make the sun swipe. And the place was lousy, with evil traps designed to protect the compass piece. The scariest one of all was a gigantic 100-foot-tall statue that stomped around. Now, the weakness of the statue, bro, was a red gem on its forehead. Now, I can jump high, but not high enough to reach the thing by a long shot. So I came up with this plan for Bluey to hit the weak spot. Oh, you, man, I said. I waited for a pause in the statue's movement and hucked Bluey up there. And Bullseye, the white torpedo, saved the day. The jewel got whacked. It was a critical hit, and that stone statue toppled and crumbled into pieces. Once that was done, it was an easy stroll to the room where the treasure was. Fortunately, Princess Eclair was nowhere to be found. I got another piece of the marvelous compass and put it in the base. Now the compass pointed west to a plump valley village on Strudel Continent. So I set sail once again and came back here to Roteport for a recharge. That's what happened to me lately, but I'll be heading back out soon. If you want to hear what I've been up to, just find me, okay? Hey there, I'm Bluey, and this guy's a total liar. Don't listen to him. You heard his story, right? Well, he did try to throw me, but he completely tripped. And what happens? I end up landing in lava. Lava, man. You think that feels good? Thanks to him, you can stick a fork in me. I'm well done. My skin's all crispified. I'll never forgive this guy. Make him pay if, if it takes me my whole lifetime. That's the only reason I'm hanging around with him. You'll pay, Luigi. That's Luigi's blooper friend, Bluey. It's totally weird to f it's totally weird to find bloopers on dry land. Seems peeved though. Wonder why he looks all fried and golden to a crisp. That's your brother, Luby. Wait, no, Lufa. Uh, no, I mean Luigi. If you wonder what Luigi's up to? I'm sure he'll tell you. All you gotta do is ask. In fact, it kind of looks like he's going to tell you stuff, so you ought to wrap with him. Also, we land the spin jump. Huh. Star Beast. I have no idea where all those locations are. Unless I looked at a guide. Hmm. Star Beast. Oh, you want to meet that lion cheating, stealing, no good, jerk for brains, dumb Deonta? Real thieves like us end up catching. Real thieves like us end up poor as dirt, never catching a break because of that guy. Did you come here knowing all that? And you know that scumbag demands protection money from us too, yeah? You know all that, and you still want us to tell you how you can meet that crumb? Fine, Mr. Insensitive, that'll cost you 64 coins. No budget on the price, not a single coin.
What? You're kidding me. I, am I hearing you right? I could have sworn you said. You really want me to tell you how to meet uh, Don Pianta, scum of the earth. <laughs> Fine, Mr. Insensitive, but I'll cost you 64 coins. No budget on the price, not a single coin. Insider info is pricey. You really pay? Yes, I mean, good call. You're a shrewd businessman. 64 coins on the nose. Okay then, clean those ears and listen here. The parlor in the west part of town that's run by that worm Don Pianta. Go to the store next to the parlor and buy a dried shroom and a dizzy dial. Make sure you buy them in that order. Dried shroom, dizzy dial. You got that? You do that and the shopkeeper's gonna ask you what your favorite color is. You answer yellow. Not green, not blue. Yellow. You got me? Yellow is the password for getting into Don Scumbag's oh so comfy office. Got all that? Dredge room and a dizzy dial. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Alrighty, mister, what color is your mustache? Yellow. So what's wrong with me? That wasn't the right question at all. Uh, let's try this again. Hey, mister, what's your favorite color? Yellow. Ah, uh, well, you check it out. You know the password. You must be an acquaintance of Don Pianta. Good for you. You can go through the door. Go on with your bad self. Hey, this is the office of the Pianta Syndicate. Don't tell me you don't know that. If you got some no business here, then scram a lamb. What's with you, wise guy? I ain't too jolly today. If you got beef, spit it out quick, or this is gonna hurt. Excuse me? You want You want me to give you a ticket for Dublin. See now, to me, that's funny. You a stand-up comedian? No? You ought to be. You got some nerve asking me for that? I'm Don Pianta. I make crying babies weep. You want I should run this bum out on a rail, boss? Look at him. What a rube. You must like pain, funny guy. You just looking for trouble or what? Not so fast, boys. I like this kid's gumption. He just came to talk, no? That ain't crime. So we talk. You boys can wait till we're done before you rough him up. Got it? So I gotta assume you got a reason for wanting a ticket for the blimp. Out with it. What's that? You wanna help some broad what got herself kidnapped? And to rescue this dame, you're out collecting the crystal stars? Crystal stars. Hey boss, ain't those things in that legend about the ancient treasure? Vinny, you're such a joke. Hey boss, this knucklehead believes in fairy tales. Fairy tales, nothing. That treasure's real. Everybody just shut it. I don't care if the treasure's real or not, get me? But I tell ya, I can't help but like a guy who wants to rescue some skirt he fell for. I made my decision. You do me a little favor, and you get your blim ticket. Sound fair? What's the favor? It's easy, it's nothing. It's less than nothing. See, the thing is, my own daughter eloped with one of my young associates. They vanished, but it wasn't too long ago that they did. They ought to still be nearby. You gotta find my daughter, Francesca, and this Frankie. Bring them both here. If you're unable to bring them here, then all you gotta do is tell me where they are. Then I'll solve this matter quick, quickly and with extreme prejudice. Boss, we don't know nothing about this guy. You can't rely on some goofball for this job. Yeah, boss, Vinny's right. Leave it to us to find Francesca. Quiet, you. Because you lugs can't find her, that I gotta swallow my pride and ask this guy. I hope you dopes ain't making complaints about my decision. You making complaints? No boss, whatever you say goes boss. 
I don't know what I was thinking, boss. Won't happen again, boss. You, you the boss, boss. Good. Glad we're full of understanding one another. So it's settled, yeah? Find my daughter and her friend, then come see me. Francesca and Frankly look like this. And just so we're clear here, if you don't find my daughter, your luck may turn terrible. Sharpies. I saw that during the door transition. Oh. Hey, back off, creep. You want something, or you just like s sliding up to people? What? Dad asked you to find us, and you're taking us to him. Frankie, what should we do if Dad finds us now? Oh, I don't know, and the boat's coming any minute. Dollface. Maybe we ought to head back and try to talk to the boss one more time. No, Frankie, don't say that. Don't you know what I'll do to you if we do that? Francesca. If you can just talk calm like with the boss, he'll understand. Frankie. Don't you love me? Of course I love you. More than anybody in the whole world. Then let's go, Frankie. Let's run to the ends of the earth if we have to. But they already found us out. We can't keep running forever. You can, Frankie. The more you try to put out the flames of love, they ho the hotter they burn. Till I marry, no one will extinguish these flames of passion. Nobody. Don't you see, mister? I beg you, pretend you never saw us. Can you do that? What do you say to me? You're a terrible. Fine, have it your way, but we won't go with you. Never. I refuse to move from the spot. Well, we know where they are, at least. What should we do, Mario? We have to tell Don Pianza something. But that stuff about our luck turning terrible didn't sound all that appetizing. Oh, look who's come back. The proverbial mustache. You're gonna brighten m up my mood. So, Gib, what do you got? You know the whereabouts of the two runaways? Is that a true fact? Rogue po Port Harbor, eh? Well done, I appreciate this favor you done me. I'll prepare your blimp tickets. Hey, you two. The kids got are at the harbor. Go get them. Dad, wait. Francesca. Boss, forgive me, boss. I'm truly sorry. Frankie, so, back you came, with your he head hung low and your tail between your legs. No, Dad, don't hurt him. I'm the one who said we elope. We should elope. It was me. But Frankie said no. He said we should come back and talk to you. Boss, listen, I don't care what you do to me. I deserve it all for being disloyal. But if you gotta forgive her, forgive your daughter, boss. That's all I ask. No. I'm the bad one. It's all my fault. Gonna punish anyone. It's me. No, boss. It's all on me. My responsibility. All the blame. Dad. Boss. Ah. Enough. Quiet, both of you. Francesca, my headstrong daughter. You used up your last favor long ago. And you, Frankie. You are like a son to me. How could you repay your debt to Don Pianta? I feel such disappointment in you two. It's like a poison shroom in my gut. Dad. Boss. I don't ever see you. See I don't ever want to see your mugs again. You hear me? Get out of my sight, both of you. That's what you expected me to say, huh? Well, that's what I'm saying. Go. Do what you want. Even if that means getting married. Oh, Dad. Dad, no, wait, I mean, boss. Thank you so much. Thanks for your blessing. 
Boss, I'll make your daughter the happiest woman, I promise you. Enough already, just go. Francesca, seeing you this happy makes me happy too. Congrats to both of you. Frankie, this is great. It ain't quite what I promised, but hey, things turned out okay, am I right? Goodbye, Dad. Farewell, and thank you. You still here? Hmm. Well, you found my daughter and got her back here. I'm just looking at how things turned out. What a complete soap opera. But hey, a deal's a deal. You can have your tickets, like I said. Who knew? That guy's got her smiling ear to ear. She's happy, and that's good. I knew you were right, the right man for the job. Thanks a bunch, pal. I don't want to see that gloomy face of yours no more. Don't ever come back here. Yay, awesome, we did it. Now we can go to Glitzville. Mario, Coops, how are you boys doing? I'm just amazed I had no idea a machine like this could be used to send messages. Technology, wow. I'm doing great. Drinking fresh spring water, picking wildflowers, polishing my shell. This town seemed so boring ten years ago, but I see the world differently now. Blimp goes to Glitzville. Will you be joining us on our flight today? Please allow me to check your boarding pass. Please watch your step as you step aboard. Chapter 3 of Glitz and Glory. Glitzville. Well, no doubt about it, this is Glitzville. Can you believe it actually floats? Well, let's get to it. Huh, Mario? Let's find that crystal star. This cheap blimp is around... is bound for the town of Rogueport.
Power plus P. Boost your partner's attack by one. That fabulous mustache, I've seen it somewhere before, I know it. Yes, Mario. That is definitely a name I've heard before. This lady is so pretty, I wonder what her name is. As far as I can tell, she's always quietly enjoying her ju juice in the corner alone. What's with that? What is it that mysterious woman do to become so mysterious? What a mystery. Hey there and welcome. Our doors are always open for those f thirsty fight fans. So grab a frosty juice and take a load off. Today's main event will rule. I'm betting on Rockhawk. No, no matter who's fighting him. Uh, you don't look very familiar. Are you on vacation? Me, hey, I'm just a Lakitu who dig digs on combat sports, dude. Nice meeting you. So this is Glitzful, huh? Not a bad place if it little on the tundry side. Perhaps I'll begin my stay here with a hostile buyout of the hot dog stand. I find this floating city concept quite fascinating. Yes, it intrigues me. Wonder what sort of coinage one might shell out to build a vacation home here. Oh my. Hello there, customer. Just the aroma of yum in the air is the specialty of Glitzville, Mr. Hoggle's famous hot dogs. Ten coins for one. I don't have any money. Yo, out of the way pal, I don't do stories on nobodies. Move it or lose it. Move to one side, small fry. The only thing my camera shoots is famous at least. At least. At least. Mr. Mustache Guy, where's Prince Mush? Hi, we're here because my son is a big fan of the former champ Prince Mush. But it looks like he's not around here anymore. We came all this way to see him. Bit of a shame, really. Welcome to the Glitz Pit. Here, savage battles go on each and every day. Welcome to the Glitz Pit. That guy's over there who gets picked to say that, right? Boy, it's hard to find a guy that clean-cut and responsible these days. Sigh. I guess I... I just sigh thinking about him. Oh. Well, hello, Mr. Mustache. We meet again. That's Miss Mouse, the thief. She jets off to exotic locales to hunt for rare badges. The fact that she's here means the Glitz Pit must have something special. Whoa, totally awesome. Check it out, Mario. Somebody's about to catch a beating up there. That's right. And I think it's time. About time for you to feel the rock. Stay down, pincushion. You don't want any more of this. Why'd you even show up? Yeah, you heard me talking, Wimpy. Stay out of the ring, or feel the burn. Champ, that was a great A whooping. Your thoughts on the match? You call that a match? There ain't a fighter out there who can challenge me. No, no one can. You hear me? Ain't a fighter out there that can even make me sweat. They're all a bunch of little crybabies running around. You got a bone to pick? Come fight me. Bring it. I'll take on anyone. Weaklings might as well stick to video game fighting, okay? Cause I'll hurt you. 
Yeah, number one, baby. Rockhawk is the champ. Whoa, look, Mario. There, on the champ's belt. Isn't that Crystal Star? Yeah, it totally is. Look at it sparkle. Gotta be one. Why would that be in a sweaty old pit like this? What do you think we ought to do? We can't just steal that nutcase's belt, can we? This stinks. What do we do? Battle our way to the top. There you go. You and I are like totally on the exact same wavelength. Crack a few heads and take a few names. Become champ and nab that belt. So let's get busy, huh? I guess we gotta become official battlers first, right? Kinda getting stoked about this. Let's go find who runs this shindig. What's up, bub? You wanna become a fighter? Well, if you're serious, then you go meet. Better go meet Mr. Grubba, the promoter. Grubba's office is down the hallway. You can't miss it. Head on through. Last stand. Drop damage Mario receives by half when he's in danger. This is the champion's room, only the champ may enter. What's that? You want to be a fighter? Alright, you can go in. Mr. Grub is inside. What incarnation are you, son? Who let you in? This is Grubba's office. Yeah, that's me, Grubba. And you're one rude dude coming in without knocking. What now? An athlete? You wanna be a fighter? That'll... That'll do a change or two, son. I always got time for an up-and-comer. Yeah, this place is packed to the gills with young fighters, all primed and raring to go. Gotta say, son, you're a bit skinny for my taste, but I'm willing to give you a shot. Now, pay, play me straight. You wanna live the glamorous life of a champ, don't you? Alright, alright. I hear where you're coming from loud and clear. When I was a poor pup, I didn't give a pokey's patoot for fancy big city ways. I jumped into the world of martial arts and fought my way to fame and riches. You know what I realized being rich and famous is dynamite. Now I can't mix it up in the ring no more, but I earned enough to set me for life. You read me here? Dreams do come true, even if they ain't yours. Exactly. Yep, that's the key. Dream, dream big and you'll get big. That's how winners... That's the winner's way. When you make it big, you look at all those small dreamers and laugh. You reading me here? That's the spirit, Chief. Let's have this little walk and talk. Come on now. Now, how do you like this? Just feast your eyes. Go on, this is the champ's room. Isn't it a sight? Deluxe. You become champ son and you get the key to this room. That ain't all, of course, and of course, that's on top of all the big money and screaming fans. No doubt about it. Apply yourself and a life of wealth and comfort awaits. Now, uh, here we have the Major League locker room. A lot of contenders here. What you think? Not exactly glamorous, but it's clean and comfortable. Totally sanitary, too. Maybe I'm old-fashioned, but I care about my fighters, darn it. Now, I'm sure you know this already, but... There ain't but one world champion. Clawing your way to the top and taking the belt to become champ ain't an easy thing. But that's the point, son. Wouldn't be worth it if there weren't no challenge. 
I can see you got fire for it too. You got the eye of the tiger there. You're gonna be a champ, I can just feel it. Ain't never been so sure about a fighter. One other thing, you gotta sign a tiny contract to be a fighter. It ain't no thing, just take a second or two of your time. Just jot your name here. Okay. Best thing you ever done. Now your Mario ain't a bad handle. Still, I gotta say, it lacks a little punch as the na fighter's name, get me? Let me see here. Bam, I got it. From now on, you're gonna be the Great Gonzalez. Ain't that a beaut? Dang, if that ain't a stroke of genius, a name that good comes around once in a lifetime. Yep, everybody will soon bow before the Great Gonzalez. Make me proud, son. Well, now that all the business side is out of the way, Jolene, could you come in here a minute? Yes, sir. You wish to sing it? Sure did. Jolene, this is the Great Gonzalez, our newest rising star. Be a peach and take him down to the minor league rock locker room, alright? Right away, sir. Mr. Gonzalez, if you would be so kind to follow me. As you know, you're a contracted fighter now, so you must abide by some rules. First and foremost, what Mr. Grubba says goes, period. You must do what he says. Also, as per your contract, you can't quit until Mr. Grubba releases you. There are many other small guidelines that I'll explain as they become relevant. Well, here we are. This is your locker room. You're starting in the minor league, of course, as you've just now started your career. If you don't like this dingy room, I suggest you work your way through the ranks. When you're ready to fight, just log on to this computer terminal here. Mr. Grubbo will then decide who you'll match up against, and you'll have no say in this. Why don't you try it once? Walk up to the screen and log on with A. Then pick Reserve a Match. Welcome to the Automated Match Reservation System. What is your command? Well, howdy, Gonzalez. Ready to fight? You're get ready to get your fist dirty, huh? There you go, son. Got a treat for you. Your first battle is going to be against the Goomba Bros. Don't worry about them. They'll be a piece of cake. Just mop them up, okay, son? Well... Hey, we want to get everyone fi fired up, so I appeal to the crowd at least once. Got any questions about de detailed rules, just ask Miss Jolene, okay? Good luck, Bard. Your battle is reserved. At this point, you just wait until se security comes for you. Fighting is pretty basic. The team that drops to their opponent's HP to zero first wins. You beat an opponent whose ranks above you, your ranking will go up. Then again, if you lose to a lower ranking opponent, your rank will go down. Simply winning isn't enough. When Mr. Grubba sets a fight condition, follow them. In this case, the condition is to appeal to the crowd at least once. Fairly easy. You can satisfy the condition and win. You can battle a higher ranked opponent next. If you can get your rank up to 11, you'll get a shot at the Major League. That's about all you need to know for now. Did you get all that? Yeah. Good. For now, just wait until security comes to get you. Gonzalez, match time. Security is here to escort you to the ring. Try not to get, get completely destroyed out there. Squaring off next, folks, are the Hoppin' Hardheads, the Goomba Bros. And a newcomer with a hankerin' for hammerin', the Great Gonzalez. The Goomba Bros have been waiting, getting all he heat up for their fight. Let's check in. How do you do, Goomba Bros? 
How are you feeling today? Ready for your fight? Ah, are you kidding, man? We're always ready to bonk a, a fool or two. Who's this Gonzalez rookie? Cocky idiot, that's who. Waiting for, just makes us mad. We're gonna teach this punk how to respect fighters with seniority. Think maybe you ought to call an ambulance for him now, just to save time. Hot diggity dang, fight fans. There's the great Gonzalez striding on up. Tell you, this rookie's got some guts strolling up here late, like he owns the place. Well now, Gonzalez, listen up. Let me explain the rules. Have a bonk, punk. They're total cowards. Those chickens attacked us before the bell rang. Oh, that's it. Come on. We're not losing to punks like them. Let's waste them. Quit crying, will ya? That was just a little welcoming gift. Where's our thank you? Alright. Fulfilled that condition. And there we go. Uh, the great Gonzalez wins. Tell me, Sam, what was the first? What was this first taste of victory like? Tell you what, I saw folks a whooping. This kid's got skills. But we got ourselves a new hero. Let's hear it for him, folks. The great Gonzalez. Well, Gonzalez, that fight wasn't a total loss. But listen, son, fighters gotta play to the crowd, you know? Pump them up more. Hoping you'll give me a more razzle-dazzle next time, huh? We understand each other? Good, I'll be on my way then. Miss Jolene will give you the fight money. See ya. Here's your fight money, Mr. Gonzalez. Three coins. Mario's ranking rose to 19. The next fight will not be set up until you select reserve a match on the terminal. You can also check on your current ranking on the terminal screen. Feel free to do whatever you like until the next fight. You have a nice day, Mr. Gonzalez. Yo, Rook, how was your first fight? I'm King K. Just a bush league scrub like you. Good meeting you, man. You look like a stand-up dude. I think I can hang with you. Hey, so why don't you meet the gang, huh? This is Master Crash. Nice to meet you, Bomb. Well, now that we've gotten to know each other, I'll give you advice, Bomb. As Mr. Lane was saying, you better Bomb obey... Uh, grub his conditions. Clear the conditions and win, you might get to fight a higher rank foes, Bomb. If you can't clear him, you bomb end up battling a lower rank fighter bomb. If you can't climb the bomb ranks, fighting the bottom of the barrel bomb bomb. Yeah, man's got, you know, speech issues. But he's got good advice sometimes. Not just sometimes, bomb. Advice is always used for bomb bomb. Right, man. Whatever. Anyway, this lean machine over here is Bandy Andy. Yeah, nice to meet you. Not here too often, and if you see me around, just say hi. Oh yeah, if you sleep in the bed over there, your HP and FP will fully recover. It's not like a cushy bed in the champ's room, though. It doesn't refill his star power. Cool, and that last guy with the uh, sweet purple kicks is known as Cleftor. Grack. Cleftor, no like, make friend with mustache. Either, easy there, Clef Dog. Dude ain't the friendliest guy, but you get used to him. Anyway, that's the core minor league crew, man. If you need something, just ask. I almost forgot, you and me gonna eventually square off, so good luck. Alright.
Alright, I think I'll save. And we'll continue this next time. I'm going to sleep. Uh, thank you and have a good night. Bye.